The vote on a controversial proposal that would impact solar panel users has been delayed. Critics of this plan say it would negate most of the financial incentives to buy solar panels and would also punish current users. Here's CBS, uh, CBS 8's Richard Allen showing us the impact on solar panel users and workers. Well, that's right. February 10th is the earliest a vote could now be held. Critics point out that currently solar panel customers can recoup their costs in about four to six years. Under this new proposal, though, it could take 15 years or longer. Proposal would make it impossible for most middle and working class people to put solar panels on their roof. This proposal by the California Public Utilities Commission, or CPUC, would reduce by about 80% how much residents are paid for the electricity they contribute to the power grid from their solar panels. On top of that, they're adding a solar tax just for the privilege of having solar on the roof. Mike Teresso is president of Baker Electric Home Energy here in San Diego. He estimates for his customers that added fee would amount to $70 monthly. So now you're paying $70 a month just for the right to have solar on your roof, and then you're going to get really almost nothing for what you're exporting back to the grid. It just completely destroys the financial benefit of rooftop solar. The proposal would also roll back from 20 years to 15 years the state's current commitment to existing solar customers, grandfathering them into the current payment arrangement for their energy. Last week, local solar workers journeyed to Los Angeles to rally outside the CPUC office there. Tereso says roughly 68,000 people are currently employed in the rooftop solar industry statewide. If this changes, we could see a large portion of those jobs just simply disappear practically overnight. The utilities have previously said that solar owners are currently not paying their fair share of grid maintenance costs, which non-solar customers cover, requiring these changes. Neither the CPUC nor SDG&E return CBS 8's requests for comment. It's money, it's power, it's influence, and the utilities have, it, have that in spades. And um, you can see that reflected in the CPUC's proposal. Dave Rosenfeld of the Solar Rights Alliance says now is the time for the public to speak up. If you're listening, you should be calling the governor. You should be weighing into the CPUC. If these are things you care about, this is your time to make your voice heard. You should do it. And while the commission won't be voting on this at their January 27th meeting, the public can still provide their comments then. For more information, just go to CBS8.com, click on the online version of this story.